All right, here we are, another short video. I've got the interior of the truck uh, completely put back together. Uh, so that part of the project uh, is done. All the wiring is all tucked up off of the floor. Uh, everything's been put where it needs to go. So I thought I'd just take a few minutes here and just kind of show uh, how I laid everything out inside the truck, uh, how everything ended up working out. So starting off down low underneath here, I had built a uh, little power distribution panel underneath here. Uh, what I have at the very top of there is a ground uh, terminal block. So I can quickly, easily, anytime I add uh, extra things into the truck or even take them out, uh, it's real quick and easy to, to find a ground point uh, right there. And then down below, um, starting from the left, uh, this guy over here, this is the, the battery uh, connection. This is straight off the battery. This is switch 12 volts right here. Got this nice little cover uh, that goes on there. Again, it's a it's a round circular um, terminal block to let me quickly add or delete uh, things in and out of the truck. Uh, and then over here, this is for auxiliary lighting. So this is switched off of the headlight switch, and I can add lights for gauges and other things like that to it um, to have them come on and off. The these two right here, the switch 12 volts and the uh, bat uh, the uh, light uh, post is triggered off of these two relays up here. Um, those are switched off of the headlight switch and off the key switch that put the power on down there. So <clears throat> that makes it easy now adding things in and out of the truck. Uh, let's see, the tachometer ended up over here uh, just on the other side of the steering wheel. Uh, let's take a look back from up here, I guess. So I wasn't able to fit it where I initially wanted, so it ended up over here on, on, the, uh, on the left side of the steering wheel, uh, which is fine. When I got in here, putting everything together, the boost... Um, down there, along with the pyrometer, uh, the lighting is reflecting off those lens covers. Uh, with the two pull knobs for the vents right there, there just wasn't enough room to, to stick the tachometer over there like I hoped. After the pyrometer comes the glove box, so there's no no room, and, and the heater box is right on behind all that, so there was just no room over there for the tachometer. Um, the brake controller is still where uh, it has been. What I did was I modified the bracket for the brake controller, uh, and underneath there, uh, I'm able to uh, put my data link connector for the computer so I can hook up uh, Auto Ingenuity in there and, and see what's going on. Uh, so that seemed like a good place to tuck that out of the way where it really wouldn't be noticeable. Uh, up here in the dash, <coughs> what I did was uh, off eBay, I ordered a couple of NOS old, uh, new old stock lights that uh, supposedly are from the 50s, so they were sort of vintage and, and to the era of this truck. Um, I have an amber sitting here next to the wiper, uh, a red one right next to it. The amber is the wait to start light, and then the red one is uh, the check engine light. And then and I have a very small uh, red one sitting over here in this hole, and that one is uh, for the battery, uh, the alternator battery light uh, to get it going. So I just repurposed existing holes that were in the dash. I didn't cut any new ones, um, so they, they fit in there well. If I can get here far back enough to, to sort of see the dash uh, with the gauge cluster sitting over there and all. Uh, you know, I tried to keep with the character of the truck. I didn't want to make it look too modern, adding any fancy digital uh, anything or LED lights like that in the dashboard. Uh, you know, the, the radio on this old truck would have went here. It never, it's an old work truck, so it never came with a radio. It has this delete plate in there. A couple scratches in there i got to touch up from the work I've been doing. Um, but so, so just trying to keep with the character of the truck uh, over here on the other side of the steering wheel. This is the uh, headlight switch. So this is what actually brings on, I don't know if you can see them coming on, the, the lights for the tachometer uh, and the lights over here for the uh, pyrometer uh, and boost gauge uh, come on uh, with pulling the headlight switch. And then next to the headlight switch is the old choke uh, pull knob. These old trucks, you'd press the gas pedal down one time and then pull that out to choke uh, choke the engine to get it started. Um, so what I did was I sort of modernized that and, and the C that you see on there, uh, it doesn't stand for choke anymore, it stands for computer or chip. What I did was I mounted my uh, TS six position chip uh, right there and I just drilled out the old uh, choke cable knob, uh, put a little set screw in it so that it, it turns the uh, what you call it, the, uh, the six position chip in there. So laying horizontal flat like that, that's the stock position. And then one turnover is my high idle. One more turnover is my sort of standard toe. 
And then the next one after that, where I suspect I'll run the truck the most, is number four, the hot. Uh, and then after that, you have uh, extreme A and extreme B settings in there. So uh, the dash, dash cl uh, the cluster itself, uh, all back in there. Again, we had talked about that in the previous video. I haven't done anything um, different to it other than to match the temp sensor uh, to the temp sensor that I put in the motor. Uh, so everything in there is working. The oil pressure gauge I've got hooked up. Again, that's a nice mechanical gauge with the, with the copper line going off of it back to the motor. Um, so it's ready to go. So that's it. Just a quick video. Uh, just a short of show where we're at in here. Um, I guess one last thing while I'm in here for the uh, stick shift. Uh, sitting in here, the wires hanging behind it. Uh, those are for the shifting of the rear axle. And what I'm going to do is I've got this uh, push-pull switch right here. And that guy will get himself mounted right at the top of the uh, shifter, if I can get in here and see. So he'll get mounted on the top of the shifter here so I can quickly pull it pull it out to shift the rear axle into low gear and then push it back in and into high gear. Um, no, no, no good way to get in here where I'm sitting uh, to sort of see how that might might end up looking. So just something like that, just as you're shifting the gears, uh, I'd be able to reach down and just pop it up, push it down, shift the rear axle. So that's it. That's where we're at. And hopefully the next video is starting the engine. Talk to you then.